Welcome to your practice in this healing month of ER. Wherever you are, I hope that we can really harness the light and energy of this very healing month. If you have blocks or pillows, go ahead and bring them so that they are easily accessible. If not, then your body is just fine and enough. We will start on our backs. Let's see if this is rolling. Amazing. So lying down on the backs and bringing the blocks or pillows under the tops of the thighs. Soles of the feet together. We'll bring the left hand to the heart, the right hand to the low belly. Beginning to breathe into the palms. Inviting in deep, healing, soothing breaths. Arriving in this moment. And feeling the back body as it rests on the element of this month, which is the afar, the earth. And part of the reason this month is healing, says Rabbi Nachman, the earth is pouring healing energy into the new herbs. So it's a great time to harvest and to pick in the fields. And if you can't do that, like me in a city, just resting the back on the earth, receiving this healing earth energy into the back body and inviting this renewal of spring into our body. Every breath brings healing. And every moment on our mat brings calm and serenity. Let's move the blocks to the side and opening into happy baby, holding onto the outer edges of the heels as the knees drop down and you really establish that connection between the back body and the earth. Now, another reason this month is healing is because on the 14th or 15th of ER, I'm not don't remember exactly, the man, the mana began to fall. So you can gently rock right and left here or circling on your mat in gentle small circles. And the mana was the bread from heaven, likened to breast milk, that nourished each person exactly according to their body type, exactly what they needed. There was no excess and everyone received what was perfectly designed for them. And the healing effects of the mana can be felt even to this day in the month of ER. The Bnei Yisachar says that all illnesses and weaknesses stem from eating the improper foods. So we begin now to welcome the mana. Knowing that healing is happening on a supernatural level, whether we are engaging in it or not. And obviously the best is both, is combining our work, our engagement with the supernatural gift of healing from above. Let's draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug and let's begin our practice with a mana mindset or a mana mantra. It can be something as simple as this is enough or I am enough. This moment is enough. What I have is enough. This is the month of hearing. 
Whereas last month in Nissan, we saw truth. This month is more gradual and inward. So hearing the mantra as we speak them really helps to bring in this truth into us. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale. This moment is enough. I am enough. Whatever your mana mantra is, say it out loud, nice and clear. And if at any moment you become distracted, return to this mantra as a way to anchor you back into this present moment. Release the knees and extend the arms nice and long to a full body stretch, opening our body up to this healing energy of ER. ER stands for Ani Hashem Rofecha. I am God, your healer. Remembering that the hand of God is within our healing for this month. It's not just up to us, but we can trust from above. Let's roll to the side, left palm into the earth. Last month of Nissan, we were like newborns. We were birthed as a nation as, and birthed anew. It was likened to the Taleb, the lamb, the newborn. And now we're rising into our adolescence. So let's lift up into a seated. Now is we transition from the, the lamb, the talet, to the tor, the bull. And this period is likened to adolescence. We are, it's an aggressive time of finding your identity and figuring out who you are. And that's why we have the Omer, to direct and harness that bullheadedness into proper healing and restoration. And taking that light that we received from Nissan and channeling that slowly and steady with this earth quality of bringing it into our being nice and full. So let's come into a dangling forward fold. Feet are hip width distance, knees are bent, and we'll bring the hands onto the kidneys below the lowest end of the ribs, letting the spine droop forward. And the kidneys, according to Sefer Yitzira, are the organ of the month. The kidneys are the vigor and vitality. The ancients call it the engine of chi, the great purifier. And King David says of the kidneys, in the night, my kidneys advise me. So rolling right and left. Just nice and soft. The way to restore and replenish the kidneys is through relaxation and rest. An overtaxation of the kidneys happens when we're stressed and overworked. And the kidneys are the fountain of youth. So the more we can come into this forward bend, which is the primary pose of re restoring the kidney, the life force, then our creativ creativity and vitality and healing can really flourish this month. Let's strap the palms to the earth. And one of the reasons King David says, in the night, my kidneys advise me, is that this month is a time of night, of darkness and din or judgment. It's a time of mourning and it's a time of gavura, strength and inwardness, often harshness. So it's specifically in this time of din that we have to go into our inner guidance and, and be guided from the kidneys within, drop deeper inward. So this month both is the struggle and the healing all together. Let's just take one more breath, rocking right, rocking left. We'll come into all fours. And at any point, 
in the practice, you can come back into that dangling forward fold to restore the kidneys. Let's tuck the toes, drop the belly, breathe in as you look forward. Exhale, tops of the feet, press down, curve the spine as you sink the sit bones to the heels, forehead presses down. As if you're pulling the skin of the palms towards the body, inhale, coming forward, lifting through the crown. Exhale, curve and round the spine, sink the hips down towards the heels, rest for a brief moment. Inhale, pull the mat towards you as you draw forward and up. Exhale, round the spine, float it down. Last one, inhale. And exhale, just come to a tabletop pose. Nice. <laughs> Let's step the right foot forward. Sink the hips, breathe in as you gaze forward. Exhale, walk the hands back, lengthen over the leg and draw the right heel back towards the hip as you hug the right hip in. Heart reaches towards the toes, soften the shoulders down. And then we'll draw the heel all the way, slide it, and then bend the knee, right knee comes over the left. Open the heels as you sink the sit bones down. Let's press into the heels to establish that nice connection with the earth. Heavy in the hips, this earth quality is a really grounding and stabilizing through the hips. Inhale, open the arms like you're flying like a bird. Exhale, bow forward as the heart rests on the knees. You can come into Spider-Man fingers or press the palms down as you melt towards the earth. Breathe nice and deep and slow. I invite you to bring that mana mantra back right now. I am enough. This moment is enough. And then walk the fingertips in front of you, lengthening the spine like we're in child's pose. And then gently walk the hands back. Stabilize the hips. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, deep into the left. So the hips are sinking down. The top body is lifting, growing, twisting. And come back to center. Nice. Walk the hands forward. Press that right leg behind you like we're stamping the wall. And then bend the knees, step it between the hands, sink the hips nice and low. Sink left palm down, inhale, twist belly, ribs, chest to the right, reach through the fingertips. And then sink the hips as you drop the palm down. Inhale, lift back up and come onto the outer edge of that left foot. As you step the right foot, stack it on the left, reach through the fingers, coming into that strengthening pose, but softening the gavura with some chesed, some kindness and softness. Wherever we are, this is enough. This life was perfectly designed for us. Beautiful, bring the palm down, come onto the ball mounts of the toes into a plank. Lower the knees down, tops of feet down, and lower all the way to the mat. Resting the heart on the earth, 
Rabbi Nachman says that all of the plants are receiving this new life force. So let that soak up through the heart, the chest, the front body, the new revival of spring entering into us. Slide the hands back, inhale, upward facing dog as the shoulders press back, revealing and exposing the heart. Hmm. Exhale, sink the hips up and back. Lengthen the spine and we'll rock out the knees one at a time. ER is a reminder that every posture heals. How can we bring more healing into each practice, into each pose? And let every breath receive this healing energy. Nice. Drop the knees. And then bring the left foot between the hands. Sink the hips. Inhale, draw the shoulders back, crown lifts. Exhale, walk it back, lengthen over that left leg as the curls to the toes curl towards the heart. Feeling that nice long extension in the spine and leg. If you need the ground a little higher, go ahead and use your blocks here. Begin to slide the left heel back and then stack it behind the right knee. Open the heels and let's sink to the sit bones. Press into the heels, massage out the feet. You might even press the hips down, squeezing the thighs together. And then inhale, open, like the whole world is giving you a hug of healing. Exhale, fold forward, rest the heart on those stacked knees, fingertips or palms on the mat. This month is a month of balance, of finding balance. Through the Omer, we balance out the system. So let's try to bring balance between the inhales and the exhales. Can we lengthen the inhales and release through the exhales with that same amount of balance? And this represents giving and taking inward and outward, receiving life force, and surrendering an equal amount of effort and surrender. We'll walk the fingertips forward, lengthening the spine, reach the crown towards the fingertips, and walk the palms to the body. Ah, let's take that nice deep inhale up and over, exhale to sink into that side body stretch to the right. And coming back to center, remembering this acronym for ER, Ami Hashem Rofecha, I am God, your healer. Let this guide each motion, each pose. Walk the palms forward, unwrap that back knee, stamp the left foot behind you, and then step it between the hands, sink the hips. Right palm to the mat, inhale as we tw twist belly, chest to the left. Reach up through the fingertips and lift out of that right shoulder. And then sink the hips as you open and drop the palm. Lift onto that outer edge of the right foot. Hand can be on the left hip as you step it back, side plank. Lift through that fingertips, 
when life is difficult, when there's din and darkness, we remember Ani Hashem Rofecha, that Hashem is here and there's light within the struggle. There's healing within this time of mourning. And bring the palm down into all fours. This time we'll bend halfway. Inhale, sweep the heart up. Reach through the crown. We're on the tops of the feet here. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, sinking the heels. ER is also the eighth month in the calendar. And eight symbolizes miracles, transcendence, which is why there's eight days of Hanukkah and we have the bris on the eighth day. And usually that's the first time a baby needs healing. So we're tapping into this miraculous nature of healing that's beyond our intellect. Let's gaze forward and walk the toes towards the wrists. Bend the knees as you fold forward. Bring the palms to the back of the calves, wrapping the arms and drawing you inward, like you're coming home to yourself. Lengthen the legs as much as you can. And then exhale, push off the tops of your shins, reach the crown forward. Inhale, wrap the palms around, draw in. Exhale, wrap the palms to the tops of the shins, lift on up. Keep going, drawing in and out. Listening to the wisdom of the kidneys means we have to return inwards to this place. And sometimes adolescence, this time of ER could seem selfish. We're working on ourselves. It's very inwards focused. But it's in the purpose of self-refinement, self-reflection, self-improvement so that we can reach the next month of Sivan, which is the Gemini, that stands for maturity. And we can receive the Torah and begin this relationship, symbolized by the twins, with a sense of maturity, because we've taken the time to go inwards, to refine ourselves each step of the way. Last one, we'll push off the shins. And fold forward. Bend the knees and then inhale, sweep the hands all the way up, reaching to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. We'll plant that left foot into the earth. Find stability and then lift the right knee parallel to the right hip. Hands can be on the hips. Or if you want to challenge, you can lift the arms as you rock forward, step that right foot back into a warrior one. So the left knee is hovering over the heel. We're opening the torso, the front body, lifting that new moon in the hands. Breathing, connecting to the earth below and the heaven, the space above. Twist the right foot onto the ball mount. And we'll bring the left hand onto the, the back and lift up and back. And then draw that knee over the top of the thigh. So the left hand is on the kidney, that right below the back ribs, 
and the right hand can just gently be guided over the heart to the left shoulder. If that doesn't feel good, palm to palm. Connecting with that kidney, the vital force. And the kidneys in Torah represent discernment, discerning good from bad, taking in the good, expelling the bad. It's the great filtration system. And we'll lift out of this twist into star pose. Toes and fingers pointing outwards. Excuse me, seeing the back of me. But shine your starlight into the world. The name for ER also used to be called, before the Babylonian Talmud, the month of Ziv. And Ziv is a ray of light. It says in ER, there's a Ziv Ha'olam. The radiance of the world is outwardly expressed. And we are a part of that. So we each are a Ziv, a, a ray of light. Also, the word for ER is ERU, which is another form of light. It means your light, for light. So there's two types of light in this month. Shine it outwards, nice and bright. And then inhale the hands over the head. Exhale, hands over the heart as you sink into temple pose. Breathe here at, hand, at heart center. And then left forearm onto that top thigh. Inhale the hand up and over to the left. Reaching to the top of the mat, powering through the legs, rooting through the soles of the feet, and coming back to center. Other side, right forearm onto top of the thigh, lift the left fingers up into the back of the mat. Beautiful. Back to star pose, becoming your own ziv, your own ray of light. And then tuck the toes towards each other so the heels are wide. Hands to the kidneys. Breathe into the hands, puffing up the kidneys as you fold forward. And part of the healing comes from this surrender, this humility. There's three levels of healing in Judaism. There's six, seven, and eight. Six represents the linear healing, cause and effect, doctor and patient. Seven represents Shabbos, just perfection. There, there's no illness to begin with. And eight, this month of ER, the eighth month, is the healing that happens with both the supernatural and our engagement, our work. So let's interlace the hands and press them up and back towards the crown. Tops of shoulders are nourished. Breathe through the whole body. Invite in the transcendence of healing. And release the palms down to the mat. Walk the hands to the front of the mat. And step the right foot to the left, fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, big sweep to the top. Exhale, hands over the heart. Hmm. We'll plant and root through the right sole of foot. Lift the knee and the hip so that they're linear. Hands to the hips or lift them and step it back into a warrior one. If your hands are down, lift them up on an inhale. Try to engage and plant through the outer edge of the left foot. Sink a little deeper 
And then bring the right hand onto the right kidney. Actually, ER is connected specifically to this right kidney. Lift the fingers up and back. And then come onto the ball mount, knee, the elbow over the knee. Hand rests on that right shoulder or palm to palm. Feel this nice twist as you rejuvenate your kidneys, your system. And then sweep out of it into a big star pose. Shining your ziv, shining your light. Nice and bright. Hmm. Also, what happened on the eighth day is the inauguration of the Mishkan for the mini temples. The mini temple that was the tabernacle in the desert with the Jewish people. So let's lift the palms up and come into temple pose or mini Mishkan pose. Actually, the Mishkan was also inaugurated during this month of ER. So every posture, we are building our mishkans, our bodies as temples, so that light, the ziv, could shine out. And that's what the mishkan did. It was a portable sanctuary where Hashem's light could dwell and shine outwards. Our bodies as a mishkan, let's sweep it up and over to the left. Reach to the back of the mat. Come back to center. <laughs> Other side, right forearm to the top of the thigh, up and over. <sighs> and hands to the heart. Lift it back into star. We'll tuck the toes towards each other as the heels go wide. Palms on the kidneys. They're like bean shapes. And we'll squeeze the shoulders together and fold forward on the exhale. Ah. From here, we'll interlace the fingers, lift them to the sky, and then sink the pinkies back towards the crown. ER is all about integration. Last month of Nissan was like a great cleanse. We took away chametz, anything that rises, our sense of ego, anything that disrupts our relationships, with others and with Hashem, we got rid of it. And now, like after every good cleanse, the most important part, now that we're sensitive and our bodies are open and refined, now we are reintegrating chametz, bringing the chametz back one grain at a time. Palms to the mat, let's walk the hands to the left. So that means we cleared ourselves in Nissan, and now we're slowly rebuilding ourselves. We're bringing back our ego in a very channeled, healthy, and self-refined way. And by Shavuot, by Sivan, we're actually, it's a mitzvah to offer lechem, to have bread. So we went from no bread last month to rebuilding this month to having to eat the loaves and offer the loaves at the Holy Temple in Sivan. Let's walk it to the right. <sighs> Building our ego takes a lot of careful introspection. And that's where our healing comes from. And we are guided by the Omer this month to help us accomplish that. And we'll come back to center, crown reaches down. 
And of course, we do our work and then we surrender to above and we let Hashem pour the mana down on us. Everything is perfectly designed for us. We are enough. This moment is enough. Let's walk the hands to the front of the mat. Nice. And we'll step the left to meet the right foot, fold. Bend the knees, inhale, big sweep, all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands over the third eye, the mouth, the heart. And coming into love pose, the straight line. This is the Hebrew letter of the month of ER is the Vav. And Vav is a hook. It literally means hook. It looks like a hook because it's a connector. Just like ER connects Nisan with Sivan, redemption and revelation. It connects these three months of spring. It connects the Omar. Omar. The Vav in God's name is a connector of the higher hay and the lower hay of Hashem and the heavens above and the earth below. So our bodies are shaped in this erect spine that is a channel for divinity, for the healing light to flow downwards. So let's close our eyes and feel this in the body. Bring awareness to the crown of the top of the head and feel that space above the crown connecting you to above. to the spirit world, to heaven, to the unknown, to the higher worlds. And then as if you're breathing down the body, wash awareness all the way down to the soles of the feet and below. All the earth that we don't even see beneath the feet. We don't see the roots. We don't see the earth beneath us. And in that same fashion, that healing light trickles down from above to below through this great channel of the Vav. And for healing to happen in ER, we need connection. Love is connection. We need connection between the organs of the body, between the functions of the body, between the breath and the body. And most importantly, healing happens when there's a harmonious connection between the body and the soul. Love is also a power pose. So ER is the bull and we need to be aggressive and self-assertive during this time. It's a confidence pose. So if you need that boost of confidence, then come into this power pose. Stand nice and erect and tall and remember that you are channeling healing from above. Now we will together do a custom that is actually very ancient. We're doing it in a little different way. It is um, back from the temple times when someone would, was in need of healing. If there was a sickness or an illness, they would circle the temple seven times. And this custom um, is a Kabbalistic practice that only during the month of ER is practiced. If someone is in need of, need of healing, then it is a custom to circle the bima seven times. And seven is this what we're working in this time of the Omer, the seven weeks of the Omer, which represent the cycle of time, creation, and of course, Shabbos energy of, of healing and perfection. So the seven spherot are the emotional attributes that we work through for each month of the Omer. So the first week is Chesed, the second week is Gevura. So I'd like to take this time to have in mind a sphera and do a circle of healing for each energy as we together heal that area in our life. So I'm gonna sound the bell and I, may have, I mentioned earlier that 
ER is the month of hearing. So if you can listen to the bell, or if you have your own signal of sound to bring us into a circle. And I encourage you to take your time with this practice because it has truly healing effects. And feel free to pause the video so you have more time during each sphira. So this first sphira will be healing chesed in our life. Chesed is loving kindness, it's giving, it comes down in the source through the right arm, it is the color white, it is expansion and love. So any love, maybe too much or excess or um, not enough or in the wrong way, any love in your life that needs to be, that needs to be healed, we will pray for that together now. So let's begin. We'll circle the mat to heal all the chesed in our life, walking with intention, mindful, as we pray for the chesed in our own bodies, for the chesed in our relationships to be healed, and for the whole world to have the love that it needs. Really take your time circling and bringing hands to the heart. As we gather in all the energy of chesed, this next circle of healing will be for gavura. Gavura is represented through the left arm. It is restraint. It is strength and, and inwardness, uh, commitment. It's the energy of this month of ER. So anything that we need, if it's a, as every spiritual discipline needs a healthy sense of gavura, of committed practice and strictness. So for the gavura in your life, this next circle will be to heal the gavura, whether it's excess or not enough. Let's pray for it together. We'll slowly meet at the top of the mat. Pause this video if you need more prayer and more contemplation for Gabora. The next circle we'll do together is repairing to ferret in our life. To ferret is the heart center and it represents harmony beauty, balance, and compassion. Sometimes it is seen as, letter, as the color green, just like the, on the third day of creation, the earth sprouts with greenery. So let's circle the mat and really bring compassion and harmony and balance into our life. Hmm. Meeting at the top of our mat, we'll transition into Netzach, the right leg. And Netzach is victory, it's endurance, it's confidence, moving forward to a desired goal or outcome. So may we all march with victory towards really fulfilling our purpose and our mission in the world. So this next round will be for Netzach. This 
next sira i didn't even realize it but i'm wearing the color of hod so maybe that means i need some more of it in my life hod represents submission and surrender and a little bit of passivity and humility so this next round will be for the, the attribute of hod may it be healed within all of us let's take this circle together Hmm. When we take Netzach and Hod, what we get is Yesod. And Yesod is a sense of bonding, foundation, truth, and union. So this next round will be for repairing those relationships, anything that we deeply bond to or need to bond to. This is our truth and our foundation. May it be healed. Let's do the next circle together. Hmm. This next and final Sira is mine and many other women's favorite because it is the feminine Sira of Malhut. Malhut is both receiving, it's an open vessel, and it's also manifesting. It is the ultimate integration, which is what this month is about, is integrating the inspiration from Nissan into ER. So Malhut receives all the Sira above her and birds it into a real manifested, real world, and birds the next world, birds the, the dreams that we have, and all the energies that we accumulated and worked on, now we actually actualize it through Malhut. Some refer to Malhut as the Shekhinah. So this next round is for her and for all of us. Take your time wrapping around the mat. And bring the hands to the heart. May all of these zero be healed within us and in our relationships ah, and in the whole world. Let's come to a seated and we'll roll back to where we started with the very first pose, bringing those pillows or blocks back as the soles come together and the knees open. If the left palm was on the heart, this time bring the right palm on the heart, the left hand onto the low belly. Seeing how this pose differs or is similar from the first time we did it, about 50 minutes ago. Breathing into the hands. Receiving all this healing light and energy that we both worked for and just openly received. And remembering that this is just the beginning of the month. So we have a whole month to really dive into this month of healing and all that it offers us. Remembering that each pose heals, each breath heals, and each mantra heals. Let's remove the blocks 
coming back into the happy baby. Let's bring back that mana mantra. Say it out loud and hear it as you speak this truth. This moment is enough. Everything I have is enough. This life was designed for me. I am enough. And draw the knees into the chest. Thinking about anything that needs a little bit more attention, a little bit more healing this month. As we're bringing back the hummy, it's bringing back our ego, focusing on what we need to work on, what we need to evaluate a little bit deeper in ourselves and in our relationship so that we can reach Sivan with full maturity, being able to receive the Torah and start our divine relationship anew. Let's spread the arms and feet nice and long, coming into this nice long love pose. Connecting the breath into the body, letting the soul just harmoniously dwell in this Mishkan, in this holy temple of a body. Lift the knees, coming onto the soles of the feet, rolling to the right like we did at the beginning of practice as newborns, and this time rising with a sense of healing. As we come to a seated position, ER has no biblical holidays, yet every single day is a mitzvah. The only time of the year that every single day is a mitzvah with the counting of the Omer spans this entire month. That tells us that every single day is an open slate for growth and for healing. And may we truly wake up each day and see it as such. So let's bring the hand to the heart and end with this mana mantra of your choice. Say it out loud. I also encourage you to write it down and see it, hear it throughout this month. Just like breast milk, we are receiving exactly what we need when we need it. it all is planned and designed with our healing in mind. We'll release the hands onto the knees. And I bless you and all of us that this month should truly be healing on all levels. Thank you for joining this practice and have a really great month tapping into the Ziv Ha'olam, this radiance and light of the world. Thank you.